All right. So you're just going to get yourself muted if you have it. I'm going to have to fix this. This is in my, there we go. That should be better. Okay. Beautiful. We're going to get started. Can everybody see me? Am I like the right direction or am I horizontal? All right. I'm going to assume you could see me. Maybe not. That might be better. There we go. Okay. So we're going to do a core and strength circuit. My head is cut off. All right, guys, this is all like moving. There we go. I think we're good. Okay. So we're starting off with some marching, cat, cow, pelvic tilt, glutes. Then we get into some squats. Then we're going a straight arm plank. Then we're going straight arm plank with shoulder taps. And then we're doing standing cross body knee to elbow. And then we're doing glute bridges. And I will show you all of them. But for the most part, it's pretty basic stuff. And we're going to get through it pretty quickly. So if you have a smartwatch or an Apple watch, I would put on... I would do strength training or you could do Pilates. So Pilates would probably be most appropriate. It's going to track heart rate. So if you have that, you can turn that on. Let's get started. We're going in three, two, one, start marching. So we're doing this for 30 seconds and then we're going into cat cows, which is on the floor on our tabletop position, meaning that we're stacked. Our hips are directly above our knees and our shoulders are directly above our wrists. I will show you 10 more seconds of marching and we're going to go onto the floor in three, two, one, on the floor. Cat cow. So we're going here, we're going to do eight of these. So breathe in. So what you want to do is breathe in as much as you can. Get the belly button, suck it up to the sky, and then exhale, round the neck, sorry, round the back. Get the butt up, get the chest up, look up, and then again, breathe in. Opposite actions, right? So I'm coming over here, we're gonna breathe in. Try and get that belly button to the spine, and then exhale, shift your pelvis down. So we're pushing the butt up to the sky, we're pushing our chest up to the sky, we're looking up, again, inhale. They call it a cat because when the cat gets scared, it curls its back. Exhale. I don't know why it calls it a cow because I don't think cows really look like this, but you know, one more. Exhale. Good. We're still in the warm up here. And now we're going into a pelvic tilt. So this is really interesting. This is really good for core activation. So a lot of people, when they're standing, they tend to have an arc in their back. What we want to do is Think of your hips as a bucket of water. So if the bucket of water is tilted forward, the water's spilling out. So what we want to do is we want to tuck our hips up in. So if we have a bucket of water, my bucket of water, my line's here, I'm tucking that in. So we're going to go in, we're going for four reps of this. So relax and then tuck. Very minor movement, a lot of engagement in the core, tuck. If you learn how to tuck that in, that's gonna help with so much of your form and injury prevention. So tilt in. So that's how you should set up your core for every exercise you do with anything you do. So that's stacking the core. All right, now we're going into glute bridging. So glute bridging, what you're gonna do is you're going to lay on your back and then you're going to have your feet up just about a uh, length width of your arms touching to your heels. What you're going to do is you're going to squeeze your glutes and we're going to lift up. So we want to create a straight line from the top of the knee to the shoulder. We're going to do eight reps. One, you can put your hands up beside you if you want, whatever you like. But what you want to do is squeeze the glutes. That's three. We're going to eight. Four, really, really squeeze the glutes. Keep the feet locked into the ground. Five, good. Six, seven. This is a great exercise, guys. Very underrated. Eight, good. Now we're going into squats. We're going to do 20 squats. So with a squat, just like I said, we're tucking in the pelvis. 
everything is tight. We're bending our butt back like we're sitting onto a chair. And we go one, right? Here we go. We're gonna go for 10, two, little break, and then go into another 10, three. Chest is tall. I'm not bending over, right? I'm coming down. Four, five. Knees are directly underneath my feet. They're going in a straight line where my toes are facing. I think that's seven, eight, nine, and 10. Take a five second break and we're gonna go again for another 10. And then we're going into squats with a leg lift. Get a nice glute meat here. A big muscle in the butt here that's a powerhouse. That's what we're gonna be working on afterwards too. This is still doing glute meat too. These muscles right here. All right, 10 more, let's go. One, go at your own pace if you can't keep up or go quicker if you're faster than me. Three, four, five, six. The deeper you can get into a squat, the better. Seven, it's okay if you can't. Eight, nine, 10. Good, now we're going into squat with a leg lift. So we're going 10 of those, so five each side. A little break and then five again and five again. So. We're squatting. I can take your, your legs a little bit wider. So what we're gonna do is squat, leg lift. Squat, leg lift, okay? That's two, three, four, five, six. You can even do this if you like, a little bit harder. Eight, nine, 10. Good, now we're gonna do another one. In about 10 seconds. So I'm gonna stand a little bit over here. Okay, here we go. And go. One. The higher you lift your leg, the harder it will be. That's three, four. Core tight. Good. Chest tall. That's six, seven. Try not to lean and go like this. Try to stay tall and push out. Eight, nine, and 10. Good, all right. Now we're going into a straight arm plank for 30 seconds. I will have a better place next time. This is my basement. It's <laughs> hard finding quality space, guys. Found the house, I'm missing my gym. Okay, we're going into a plank. So we're going straight arm plank, which means straight arm just like you see so what we want to do in a plank is we want our body to be completely straight elbows or wrists are directly underneath the elbows so we're here we come out straight arm okay sorry about the video quality and come facing we're going for 30 seconds in three two one go so spread the fingers wide you want to grip the floor with your whole hand Pushing all of your fingers into the floor. Good. Shoulders engaged, back engaged, core is tight. Toes are digging into the floor. We're halfway done. Then we're going into straight arm with a shoulder tap. And guys, we are more than halfway done this workout right now. Amazing. Good job. Take breaks as you need. And we are done. Good. Nice little five second break. We're going into the exact same thing, just with a shoulder tap. The trick here is don't shift the hips. Keep the hips stable, keep them facing down. And the farther your hands or feet are away from each other, the easier it's gonna be. Your feet are right beside each other in the plank, it's gonna be harder. Because the axis of where the gravity is pulling you down is much less than when it's wider. You're supporting on a, a, less, um, a less narrow angle. That makes sense? Okay, I'm really technical here. Okay guys, ready? In three, two, one, plank, we're going for 12 shoulder taps, okay? One, two, three. See, so not shifting. We don't want that, we want it straight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, let's go to 16, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, beautiful. All right, standing cross body, knee to elbow. Very intentional. This one we are gonna do 20. And we're going cross body. So the trick is, is tighten the core and crunch. Very important, we tighten the core, crunch. Good, that's two, three, four, five. 
Flex the toes up to the nose. Six, what it looks like from the side. Seven, eight, nine, see how I'm crunching. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Simple things done well, guys. It's hard. Okay. Next thing we're doing is a glute bridge hold for one whole minute. Okay. So, so you get a nice little swag and it's a heart rate. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. And you can make this harder with doubling, right? So we're going into a glute bridge hold for one minute. So, like I said in the warm up, hands, take them down. That's where your feet should be touching the heel of your foot. Then we want to plant the toes, spread the toes wide, grip the floor. And we're coming up for one whole minute. Ready? Squeeze your glutes and then lift. Then lift the hips and up. So we're squeezing and lifting. We're going to try and keep that straight line all the way from the top of my knees, throughout my hips, not letting them drop. We're pushing up to the sky. And we're squeezing these glutes, you guys. Glute engagement. Glute need glute max. This is the powerhouse of your body. Good. We are at 30 seconds, guys. We're gonna keep holding, we're gonna keep squeezing. If you need a break and you need to come down, that's fine. Take a break no longer than three seconds and come right back up. It gives you enough time to just regain and recuperate. Now keep holding. Good job, course tight. We're at 49 seconds, guys. Keep squeezing. The exercise is gonna be five more seconds. Good, and down. Oof. You'll feel those. Good, single leg glute bridging. The exact same thing with one leg, but we're pulsing up and down. Okay, same method. We're going six each leg, 12 in total. Let's do this. So, feet, shoulder or arm width away, arm length away. So we're gonna bring our leg up and we're gonna go six of driving this hip up still. So we're going one, two, good. Three, four, five, and six. It's a lot of hamstring, you'll feel it. Other one, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, and six. Ah! That was good. All right, flipping onto our stomach, and we are doing Supermans, okay? And then we're gonna do um, four more exercises one more time, and then we're done. And then we'll tell you what those four exercises are after. It's all been done already, so. Just a couple of variations, we're taking out a few. All right, Superman, so what we wanna do is we wanna engage upper back. So say we're gonna take our hands like YMCA, squeeze your shoulder blades, say, say there was a pencil on my spine, I wanna squeeze that pencil directly on my spine. So take your muscles, your scapulas, those good old shoulder blade muscles, and squeeze them together. So don't lift your back and your chest up, because that puts a lot of strain on the lower back. I want you to concentrate on squeezing your upper shoulders together. And then lifting your thighs, your quads off the floor, okay? So don't think of coming up and bending your body into a U. Think of engaging the shoulder joint and think of lifting the quads off the floor. And that will activate the proper muscle groups. All right? All right. Three, two, one. Up for three seconds. One, two, three. Down for three seconds. Two, three. Up. We're doing this eight times. Two, three, and down. Keep your head in line with your spine. So looking down at the floor. Up, two, three, four, down. Two, three, four counts is just easier. Up for two, three, four, down for two, three, four. Up for two, three, four, and down for two, 
three, four, four more. Up for two, three, four, and down for two. I lied. Three more. More. And up for two, three, four, and down for two, three, four. One more. Up for two, three, four, and down for two, three, four. Good. So now we are going to do squats. Squats with the leg lift. Then we're doing standing cross body knee toe touch and planks again. And then it's a day. And we call it a workout. We got some, did some good stuff today. We can be happy with it. So let's start with our squats in 15 more seconds. Get a drink of water. Very important. Hydration. Okay, here we go. Squats. We're going 10 squats, 10 squats with the leg lift. Then we're going into planks. And then we're doing our standing cross body knee to elbow. Here we go. In three, two, one. One, two. Squeeze and push that till the pelvic, pelvis forward. That's four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going into pelters. Squats with leg lift. In three, two, one, go. One, lift. Two, lift. If you can only do the squats, just keep going. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, good. On the floor, four, thirty seconds. Tall plank in three, two, one, up. As you notice, we're going through the exercises a lot quicker because we have already demonstrated. Second round's always gonna be a little bit harder. So breathe, make sure you're not too far back, too far forward, make sure your bum's not up in the air. We're straight as a board. Legs are tight. Dig the toes into the ground. Good. We have 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Good. Now we're going into straight arm shoulder touch, and we're going to go for 16, okay? Eight and eight on each side. Totally doable. Try and get those feet a little closer together if you can. Here we go. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't let it shift. Twelve, fifteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Beautiful. Standing cross body, knee to elbow. Trick is stay tall. Tuck the hip in. Core is tight. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Drive the knee up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Drive the knee to the elbow. Three, two, one. Awesome, guys. That's honestly it. We're going to do a couple of stretches. We're done. That was like a 20 minute warm up. Workout. So we're going to go into a butterfly. Chill on the floor. It's always nicer. That was good. See, it's not like a, it's, I find, depends on your level of fitness, right? But I find these workouts are quick. They're not crazy where you're dying, but you're also not, not dying. You know what I mean? So <laughs> the heart rate's risen. So like my heart is, it's already dropped down to 111, 109, which is good. So if you guys have heart rate monitors or you guys have um, anything like a smartwatch, Apple watch, or, your, or anything that tracks your heart rate, pay attention to that. Because the quicker your heart rate rises and the quicker your heart rate comes down in a workout, the more fit you are. So your body is able to adjust and acclimatize pretty much to whatever demands of what you're doing. So it's a good sign if your heart rate's lower. Not necessarily with every case, it could be <laughs> related to health 
problems if you have a low heart rate to begin with. But as in a general rule of thumb, when you're working out, pay more attention to your heart rate. So it's your max heart rate is 220. Sorry guys, switch into this stretch. I'm just talking your ears off. 220 minus your age and that's your max heart rate. So that is the maximum your heart is able to pump um, for blood to be able to pump to all of your organs and your muscles and oxygen to be able to circulate through your body. So 220 minus your age is your max heart rate. So that's as hard as you could possibly work before your body can't keep up with it anymore. And that's hard to get to. That means you'll be dying in your workout. But if you go about 20 beats below that, and that's a good fat burning zone. So 130, 140, 150 is a, an orange, orange theory zone, which is the fat burning zone, which you're going to see the most results there. Good. Take your feet out in front of you and just touch your toes. The whole gym orange theory bases their whole entire fitness plan off of that. So that's where that whole orange, the orange block of your heart rate is, is uh, orange theory is fat burning zone. Something you might want to know throughout your workouts. All right, guys, and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, DM us on um, Seneca Performance and have an amazing day. I hope you liked it. Ciao.